Good afternoon. During today's legislative hearing, we will consider three bills, S-1797, the Urban Indian Health Providers Facilities Improvement Act, S-1895, the Indian Health Services Health Service Sanitation Facilities Construction Enhancement Act, and H.R. 1688, the Native American Child Protection Act. The federal government has a special trust responsibility to ensure the general welfare of Native communities, and that includes providing adequate health care to Native people, supplying tribal communities with clean, safe drinking water, and protecting Native children. But for too long, Congress has underfunded Native-serving programs and ignored Native needs on the ground. The bills before this committee today work towards righting these past injustices. The Bipartisan Urban Indian Health Providers Facilities Improvement Act, co-sponsored by Senators Langford, Smith, and Moran, will remove a statutory funding use limitation and empower urban Indian organizations to make needed health care facilities enhancements. UIO, uh, UIOs provide care to Native Americans in urban areas, but according to the National Council of Urban Indian Health, at least 74% of these facilities have critical unmet facility infrastructure needs. S1797 would stretch federal dollars for UIOs to use on facilities renovations, construction, and expansion. The next bill, Senator Lujan's Indian Health Service Sanitation Facilities Construction Enhancement Act will support tribal sanitation infrastructure development, an urgent priority across Indian country. Indeed, the Indian Health Service has identified over 110,000 American Indian and Alaska Native homes in need of some form of sanitation facility improvement, including more than 50,000 homes without access to sanitation facilities. Finally, the House passed Native American Child Protection Act will reauthorize and modernize existing programs that help to ensure the health, safety, and well-being of Native children, incorporate culturally appropriate treatment and services into these programs, and encourage tribal partnerships with UIOs and, state, and states to address family violence and child abuse. Before I turn to Vice Chair Murkowski, I'd like to welcome and extend my thanks to our witnesses for joining us today. Uh, Vice Chair Murkowski.